Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 24th day of May 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Jim Pullion so we can look at the live spot prices. Gold is up 422 to 1866.49. Silver is up 14 cents to 2217. Platinum up 79 cents to 972.35. And palladium is up 1414 to 2. Well, 2068.2. In stock silver, there was a bit of a build overnight. They're at 1064. Now, our next stop today is going to be coinworld.com. And there's an article by Arthur Fried Friedberg, and it is regarding the paper money. It says, new series of notes awaits appointment of treasurer. And there we go. There's some uncut currency right there. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing has not been producing collector products such as uncut sheets of Federal Reserve notes like this one since the start of the pandemic and will probably not for several months. So several months, maybe two or three, four months from now, puts us on, I guess, September maybe August, if we're lucky. It says here, Bureau of Engraving and Printing has provided CoinWorld with an update on two aspects of his operations that are of interest to collectors. Spokesperson Lydia Washington says, I love how they use spokesperson. Lydia Washington says that the things remain busy while the agency is still, for the most part, teleworking. She offered updates on two subjects that have been on the focus of repeated inquiries. We know what that's coming, right? So, regarding the next series of currency, the BEP is following its current process. A new United States Treasury is not yet appointed. So, notes currently being printed continue to bear the names of the Trump administration, administration officials, Steve Mnuchin and Jovita Carranza. Isn't that interesting? Only when President Biden appoints a new treasurer will a new series begin bearing the facsimile signatures of that person and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. The secretary has already provided a sample of her signature for the engraving. Now, as for the production and sale of paper currency as numismatic products, production remains primarily focused, here we go, on meeting the Federal Reserve's currency order due to the pandemic. Washington said, we hope to resume numismatic program in the near future, possibly before the end of the year, but a hard date has not been determined as of yet. Now, that's a definite possibility of a firm maybe, right? They may not get them done at all this year. Now, it says here in the meantime, individuals interested in purchasing BEP products, that's Bureau of Engraving and Printing products, are encouraged to sign up for product notifications through the U.S. Mint's online store, and it is addressed here. But let's go here to the United States Mint's, um, I guess I, we go shop, paper currency, and then we go to uncut currency here. Now, everybody, that says here, everybody loves money. And paper currency is the perfect gift. Uncut currency sheets are available with $1, $2, $10, $20, $50, and $100 notes and make unique, wonderful gifts for the collector and or for the hard-to-buy-for person on your list, right? These uncut sheets of money are a must-have for any collection. And they are really cool, actually. I mean, let's face it, who doesn't love money? And when you can have money displayed on your wall, like in a frame from like Michaels or Aaron Brothers, Art Mart, or wherever you go to to get your stuff framed, uh, I'd imagine that's pretty cool, really cool. And they are um, sold out and they're on Remind Me status. And they have been since the beginning of the pandemic, right? So will we see these this year? Mm, well, it's a definite possibility of a firm maybe. But it would be really cool if we did. So hopefully we'll get a Treasury uh, Secretary, right? A Treasury Secretary. That way we can um, find out, you know, uh, you know, as soon as possible when these new bills will be released. Now, over here to the next story today, this is Coin Week, and there's an um, article by Blanchard & Company, and just a heads up, Blanchard & Company is like an investment firm, and I think they want you to uh, invest in their silver products, so maybe there's a little bit of a bias here, so let's just go ahead and take that into consideration when we're going over this, right? Uh, right here, and I will leave a link in the description for this article, the last article, and the plus twos today. Look at that shiny metal right there by Blanchard and Company Incorporated. Silver, sometimes known as the poor cousin to gold, due to its lower price per ounce, can offer strong outcomes for those who choose to invest in it. Okay, while silver is a precious monetary metal that has served as currency for thousands of years, it is also a widely used industrial metal powerhouse. And they're going to go over some of the uses here for silver, and it's going to build the case as to why silver is an important metal to own, right? So here we go. In fact, industrial demand for silver for in uh, use of manufacturing and electronics accounts for roughly half of all demand for this metal. Other large demand drivers for silver include jewelry investment and smaller components that include photography and silverware. Increasing industrial demand is a factor behind large silver demand for 2022. Did you hear that? Industrial demand is a factor behind large silver demand for 2022 and could be 
that reason why it's going to have a 5% increase in demand. And let's face it, demand does not equal a 5% um, a increase in price, right? Now, rising demand in every single category pushed silver usage higher last year. This year, the silver outlook, uh, the outlook for silver demand remains bright with a 5% increase seen due to industrial fabrication, according to Metals Focus. Meanwhile, the global supply for is forecast to rise by 3%, right? So increase in demand and the well, supply is not increasing to reach that demand. So there's obviously a little bit of an offset of 2% there, and that is probably going to make the price rise, I would imagine. Now, it says if you aren't familiar with some of the many uses for silver in medicine, technology, electronics, and more, then you're not alone. These applications are wide-reaching, and new developments are being discovered seemingly constantly. Here's a look at new and growing uses for silver in industrial capacities reported in the Silver Institute's latest silver news. Now, check this out. I thought this was kind of wild. Nano silver ink printing delivers high print resolution. And this is out of Austin, Texas. Their um, electronics with a K developed a particle-free aerosol jet printing product that is capable of being printed at less than... 15 millionth of a meter resolution while most silver nanoparticles are between 1,000 and 100 thousandths all right so 15 of a meter in size so i imagine that's super high def the u.s intelligence community has taken notice of this aerosol ink through a partnership with InQtel, a group that invests in cutting edge technologies to enhance the national security of the united states now imagine that technology be used on our what yeah on our currency right wouldn't that be exciting so really cool, right? Now, has your doctor prescribed a wound care ointment to you containing silver? I know mine has. Well, it wasn't really me, but they didn't prescribe it. But they were like, hey, you might want to check this out. And I did. So it says here, don't be surprised if they do. Interest in silver uh, antimicrobial coatings is rising rapidly as healthcare specialists and others seek more efficient and effective ways to tackle the spread of disease, especially in the face of growing resistance brought on by Overuse of antibiotic drugs, wrote Trevor Keel, technical director at the Silver Institute. Looking ahead, the global antimicrobial coatings market size is projected to grow from 3.9 billion in 2021 to 6.4 billion by 2026 at a compound annual growth rate of 10.5%. And silver based antimicrobial coatings are projected to witness the highest CAGR during this period, according to Research and Markets Report. But now, for me, you know, um, I, I had um, used silver, colloid, colloidal silver cream, right? And it had like cocoa butter in it. And it is probably one of the most amazing products. I like it better than hydrocortisone. And I like it better than the one that's in the yellow tube that's uh, an antibiotic, um, gosh, I'm Neosporin, I think it is. Anyway, it's colloidal silver. It's my favorite. Now, going to go on, moving on here. Scientists are experimenting with how silver can be used in a trio of metals to reduce greenhouse gases. That's awesome. In an effort to mitigate global climate change, scientists are focusing on ways to capture and use carbon dioxide, a contributing factor in greenhouse gases. The goal is to take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and turn it into a feedstock to produce useful industrial chemicals. Isn't that interesting? They're like leaching it out of the environment and bringing it back into something they can use, the Silver Institute said. Scientists have found that ethanol production hit maximum levels with a specific ratio of metals involving one atom each of gold and silver combined with five copper atoms was used. Wow, incredible. So this is wrapping it up here, and, um, and this is about Blanchard, and I'll let you uh, read about that in the link that I leave. It says here, today's silver price is attractive, right? We talked about silver price being $22.17. What they're saying here is that silver demand is growing. For long-term investors, today's silver price remained attractive at around $22.50 an ounce. To analysts at Bank of America are upbeat on the prospects for silver this year. According to a recent B of A Global Research report, the firm forecasts silver to $30 an ounce. And honestly, I believe they are being probably... A little bit reserved, I think, in their um, forecast. I think they could have easily gone a little bit higher, easily to $35, but they probably didn't want to panic anybody, I would imagine. Now, off to the plus twos today. First one's first, and that is this. Bam! I'm Stuck on You by Lionel Richie. And this is one of my favorite songs by him. In fact, there's a lot of my favorite songs by him. He's just an amazing artist, truly remarkable singer, songwriter, all that good stuff. And, um, boy, I tell you, 
Uh, if you don't have somebody you're stuck on, you're missing out. You really, really are. Now, for the other plus one here today, and I will leave a link in the description also on this. And then, bam, I love this. This was the best. I'm too busy working on my own grass to notice if yours is greener. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? We should be worrying about our own grass way more than other people's grass, right? Because and and uh, and hey, if our our grass does get super duper green, and you know we're able to teach others and help and assist others get theirs green too, that's a good thing. But until that point, well, let's just focus on our own stuff. There it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're and see, please subscribe to this channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker. Out.